Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. This week here in the garage, we've got the 2021 Ford F250 6.7 liter Power Stroke diesel. So I'm going to give you an underhood tour, show you all the major components and all the things that make this engine what it is, as well as go over all the areas where you're going to be hitting doing your DIY maintenance. The 2021 Ford Super Duty pickups use the third generation of Ford's first in-house designed and built V8 diesel engine, the 6.7 liter power stroke. In the F250 we tested here, it's rated at 475 horsepower and 1,050 pound-feet of torque, and it comes mated to Ford's in-house designed and built 10-speed automatic transmission. Several improvements were made to the engine for this latest version to get it to its newfound power level. These include a new 36,000 PSI fuel injection system and a new Garrett GT37 variable geometry turbocharger that sits between the heads in its hot V setup. Unfortunately, you really can't see it. Your first look into the engine bay tells you this thing is complex, and it is. I will do my best to make some sense of what you're looking at, though. Following the airflow, the intake air comes in through a snorkel just above the grill and into a large air filter box at the passenger side just ahead of the battery number one. From there, it heads into a pre-intake manifold and into the turbocharger buried deep in the engine's valley at the rear of the engine bay. Trust me, it's there. It's worth noting that this is unique. The engine's hot V design places the exhaust outlets on top of the heads, feeding into the turbocharger mounted on top of the engine between the heads. This shortens the distance and reduces ducting for less turbo lag and improved thermal efficiency. From the turbocharger, the intake charge heads over to an air-to-water intercooler mounted on the driver's side next to the battery number two, before heading back over to the complex intake system of the engine. There it flows into a new aluminum intake manifold that feeds the cylinders through intake passages cast into the top covers of the heads. Also fed into this intake system is a portion of the exhaust that was routed through a large cooler on the passenger side of the engine and routed back into the intake charge. The cool DGR system contributes to cleaner emissions and again, better thermal efficiency. Having just walked through all of this, you might be thinking this thing is a nightmare to work on and to maintain yourself. Well, <laughs> you certainly need a stepladder, which explains our overhead views here. The air filter box is located at the front passenger side with a gauge provided to give you a quick look to check the filter's condition. There are two 12 volt batteries, one on the passenger side next to the air filter box and the other at the driver's side front. The reservoir for the secondary cooling circuit serving the air-to-water turbocharger intercooler is at the rear of the main radiator near the center. Windshield washer fluid is right up front next to the radiator, and power steering reservoir is just behind it ahead of the engine. Further up close to the driver's side firewall is the main coolant reservoir. Behind that, the brake fluid reservoir. Checking the engine oil is done at the top back of the engine. You can see the bright colored yellow dipstick handle. The oil filler cap is up there too at the top of the engine just to the right of it. The oil filter is at the bottom of the engine near the transmission. And checking the transmission fluid with the engine bay dipstick is a thing of the past with the sealed 10-speed transmission. Well there you go for the underhood tour of the 2021 Ford F250 with a 6.7 liter power stroke diesel. It's complex, no doubt about it. And it is something that you can work on yourself if you're maybe a little bit more experienced and you're willing to spend some time because some of these things are going to take a little bit of effort to get to. That said, if you want to see the test drive on this truck that we did, you can see that right there. Better yet, subscribe to TDTV Garage right there. Either way, stay tuned.